If I had to build 100,000 websites in 100 days, this is how I'd do it. This is Git page. It's just had an upgrade and we're going to leverage this upgrade to build websites using a method that you have never seen before. So this is how Git page works. Once you're logged in, you can build a website really quick. It's going to ask you your language, so English. Then it's going to ask you for the main heading for your landing page. So I've put here Melbourne AI Automation. Then it asks you what style of page you might like. I'll go with creative. Then your color scheme, we'll go with dark. Your hero statement, I've entered here low cost AI automations for business and then you submit it. But we're going to level this up by using the API to provide Git page with this information programmatically. To get the API key is pretty straightforward. You just go to the dashboard and you can generate and copy the key. To actually use it, the documentation is also available. So if we click on API help, it takes us to this page here, and this is the documentation that explains how to use the API key. The next step is we need a tool that can orchestrate all the information required for each website and schedule it into the Git page API. And to do that, we will use Lovable. To speed up the process, I've drafted a project requirements document for a bulk AI website builder. And basically the goal is to enable users to generate and deploy multiple AI built websites automatically by combining LLM powered content generation with gitpage.site. I'm going to copy this. We're going to put it into Lovable and we'll build our MVP of this automation. So just back over in Lovable, I'm going to paste the PRD in. We'll hit go and see what we get. Well, this is the first build. Let's take a look and see what it can do. So if I go down here, it says ready to scale your website generation, create your first batch. All right, create your first batch. Let's give it a title. So go with AI automation agency, why not? Number of variations, I'll go with five. Language, go with English, contact email, test at test.com. And for CTA link, I'll just do the same. All right, now if this works, I will be pretty impressed, but I'm expecting to hit an error. Okay, so there's our first issue, page not found. I'm gonna try to fix this and we'll come back. All right, so done some updates. We're gonna give this another try. I've added the ability to run two website builds at a time, just so while we're testing, we're not doing large batches. I've filled in AI automation, two websites, English, test email, test link, and I've added the Git page API key, which is from the dashboard. So let's see what happens. It says it is generating the batch, which is a good sign. Yeah, so we hit another error. I've just tried to fix it. And also I noticed that the FAQ and features weren't included in the batch when it was generated. So let's give it another run and see what happens. Okay, so our batch was successfully generated. You can see I just asked for two variations of AI automation. So we have the first one, unlock peak efficiency with AI automation and AI automation growth accelerator. And you can see with the color scheme, it's randomly assigning either standard or dark. And it does the same with the style. So we've got informational for the first, creative for the second, include FAQ is a yes. The benefits, we have the three benefits. We have the three features and we have the same again for the second one. And you'll also note there is the check boxes. So if we don't want to submit one in particular, we can turn it off. So for now, we'll just try the first one and see if it'll actually head over to Git page and generate. So we just got the notification that it's been submitted. I've just gone over to Git page and you can see that there is a processing message here. So the site that we've submitted appears to be generating. It's not to say it's going to work because we haven't seen it yet. So let's just wait until it generates, and see what happens. Now I'm just showing the full screen here so you can see the URL and nothing dodgy is going on. This website has now been completed. It was submitted by Git page. Now we all we have to do is click on view site. So this is our site. It's looking pretty good. We have our hero section here. Then we have our features section. We have a benefits section. Then we have a call to action. So if I hover on this, you'll see in the bottom left, we have a link to test.com and that was the call to action link we added in. Then we have about the company. Now I think these should do something if I hover on them. There we go. There's a hover effect within some of the elements. If I scroll down a bit further, we've got the testimonials, frequently asked questions. So these should expand. So that works well, another CTA, and then we have our footer. So if I click on say terms of service, we should have a full policy here. And you can see this is all the legal jargon, go back. And if we go onto the blog, 
You can see we have a blog listing page here and it's all ready for more articles to be added in, but it does generate the first one for us and it's got an excerpt. So I can click on read full article and there we go. It even got an image. This has all been generated by submitting our website re requirements from our new Lovable app. So if I go back to Lovable, you can see one was submitted, one was pending. We're not going to do the second one. We will create a new batch. I'll call it AI Automation Agency again. We'll do two websites. Now I'll submit these. Okay, so we've got two variations here. I'm going to submit both. And so what should happen is the first one should be submitted. And then a couple of minutes later, the second one will appear. I'll just submit this and we will check that the sequencing and the scheduling of these sites works. Alrighty, so the first one did finish and I can see the second one is now being processed. So we'll check back in in a minute and we'll take a look at both of them. Okay, so you can see here there are three sites that we've developed using this new automation process with the API. These latest two were done in a batch. So I'll click on the first one and you can see it's more of a minimalistic theme. If we scroll down, we've got the same sections as you'd expect, but we just want to check that our links and our, everything is working. So if I click on say FAQ, we can go back. So the navigation is all looking good. If we go to privacy policy, it's all there. Terms of service, all there. If we go to blog, you can see we have our first blog and we can read all that. And it's all set up to allow for those new articles to come in. So that is looking pretty good. The other thing we can do is if I minimize this browser size, we get the hamburger menu and I can click on say testimonials. And so the full navigation is working. This is a complete website. Now I can check the other one. So click on this. Now we've got a dark theme with minimalistic. If I scroll down, we should have the same sections, features, benefits, call to action, testimonials about us and FAQ. It's all looking good fully automated, just put in what you want your website to be about. It'll generate a batch of variations and press submit. And this is how you can generate websites at scale. Now, this is very powerful automation. And of course, if you wanted to generate hundreds or thousands of websites, the only change you would need to make is the number of variations that get it get generated in a batch. And just to let you know, if you wanted to generate 100,000 websites in 100 days, you would need to generate about 42 websites per hour. So that would be a massive task. I wouldn't recommend doing it. Now, if you're not a current user of Git page, there's a couple of things to be aware of. It is not a subscription site. You just purchase it as a one-time only and that's it. The API is included in the basic plan. You can get it for $99. Or if you're a member of the online ninja community it's actually included totally free i hope you've got a bit of value from this video if you did consider giving it a like subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one